Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journey with Sherry. If you're new here, welcome. For those of you who are regulars, hi, and thank you for watching another video. This is Try It Tuesday. Right now, what you see are you see some little colors on a piece of paper, and I was trying to match the colors from Sandy Alnock's video. Again, sometimes you don't have the same material as everyone else, but you use what you have to the best of your ability. So what Try It Tuesday is, is a day that I choose a YouTube video of someone that I admire or who inspires me and I attempt to do something in their video, something with their video. Watercolor, paint, drawing, sketching, tracing, something that inspires me that I want to try new so that I can get better at Bible journaling. Because if I can Bible journal, so can you. So right now you see three strips of paper. Those are going to turn into our templates for a book. And that's what Sandy Alnock did. She had three strips of paper, different sizes, to make a book and what to make books. And what scripture she's using is, as you can see right there, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 2. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, said. Write it in the book, all the words that I've spoken to you. She's using it in reference to the book that she's writing, or it's out now that she's written about Bible journaling, but I'm using this as my inspiration for the fact that we or I Bible journal, and anything that the Lord ministers to me by way of his word, I'm going to write it down, whether it's in my journal, my journaling Bible, or my notebook, something, and all of our source comes from his word, so that's why I chose to still use this scripture because she said the scripture may not apply to you, but you can use the image like the book making in any other area of the, you know, Bible that you choose. But I'm going to stick with the scripture she used because I'm thinking of Bible journaling. So right now I'm doing what she did and I'm tracing the outline of the biggest strip and then I'm going to trace the outline of the, the the tallest strips as well and these are going to be our three books okay right here I made an error if you notice as I'm drawing the outline for the books I go all the way down to the end of the page she didn't do that and I didn't notice it until I started coloring that she only went down to the bottom portion and then she left as if it was going to be like a bookshelf there so the books are sitting on something and I didn't do that but I improvised you'll see I improvise but I went all the way down off the page and didn't stop at a certain point and then draw a line across but mistakes happen I don't practice ahead of time what you see is basically what you get so now that the books are sketched I am now attempting to color and this was the longest process but I stuck with it. My browns didn't match her browns. I really wanted that deep, dark, wood, brown, brown, dark brown, chocolate brown, <laughs> but I couldn't get it. And I tried to mix a couple of browns and it really didn't work. I even went and got some other color pencil. These are my water, Master Touch water color pencils, and I'm using them just as a pencil. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and color it brown, and it took a long time, so I'm just going to try to speed this up. There's nothing about this other than just coloring and making the books come to life, basically. Okay, and I'll be back in to discuss some of the other areas of the video. So as I'm coloring, I'm drawing the cross, as you can see, in pencil, and then I'm going to color around that cross, and it's going to leave a white outline of a cross. My cross didn't come out as exact as hers. It was crooked, kind of kind of a cross that a kid would make, but it's okay. Uh, I understand what she was doing, and from afar, it doesn't look so bad. So that's um, something else that was done. Just make a cross, and then you just color around it to keep it as the outline of a cross.
Next, I'm going to add the bookmark that she made, which also gives the book a more real books more real a more realistic look. So I'm just trying to mimic the bookmark that she made, and then I'm going to shade in the the areas is very self-explanatory and try to match the colors. My colors aren't as rich as hers and I was so tempted to add watercolor to the page to make it darker but I said no I'm going to stick to colored pencils because that's what she used. So maybe in the future I'll invest in expensive pencils since I think I'm going to use pencils more and I want rich color. So the rest is all self-explanatory and I'll be back at the end. Thank you. So for the sake of the video, I went ahead and finished coloring, like I said, it a lot of shading and I did some blending like she did along the outside of the book just to add, uh, I don't know why she did it, she didn't say, but it was just to add some, bring out that color from the last book, bring some of it out as more of a faded. So right now I'm writing in the Holy Bible and then a journal and then journaling Bible as my indicators of what I would use to write down what the Lord speaks to me about.